TSB is now working with state police to try to determine what caused a fatal turnpike crash early Sunday morning. Five people were killed, 60 others were injured. Good evening. Investigators say the chain reaction crash began when a tour bus hit the center median, then traveled across the road. It then went up and down a hillside. As it came down, that bus then overturned onto its side, sliding back onto the road before it stopped blocking both lanes. A FedEx truck and a UPS tractor trailer hit the bus, then a Mercedes hit the UPS truck, and then another UPS truck slammed into that Mercedes. This all took hours for responders to clear the scene, and tonight there are questions about the bus company that's involved. KDK investigator Andy Sheehan explains. The bus, which swerved and toppled, setting off the deadly chain reaction crash, originated here in Chinatown, New York City, where the company Z&D Tours offers low-cost fares to Cincinnati and other destinations in Ohio and Kentucky. Z&D and companies like it are popular with Chinese immigrants and others seeking discount travel. But these so-called curbside bus services have also courted controversy. After a slew of accidents, including this one involving a bus out of Chinatown, which killed 15 people in 2011, the federal government took action. Declaring them, quote, an imminent hazard to public safety, the U.S. Department of Transportation shut down 26 operators the following year, citing buses that were not regularly repaired or inspected and drivers who were not qualified. But Z&D, which operates out of this strip mall in Rockaway, New Jersey, says it has a clean record and no connection with those other companies. According to Department of Transportation records, the company has 15 drivers and has had no accidents or safety violations in the past two years. Z&D's driver was killed in the crash, and I spoke on the phone with Z&D's attorney, who said the company is grieving for all involved. We want to extend our deepest condolences the families of the individuals involved in this accident. Our greatest priority is safety. CND has always had a very good record on safety, and we continue to uh, that precedent. The crash occurred along this winding downhill four miles west of the Donegal exit. Snow had just started falling, but the turnpike says the roadway had been treated hourly. Some witnesses have told state police the bus had been traveling at a high rate of speed, but that has not yet been determined by the state police or the National Transportation Safety Board. We are here to collect the factual information and the perishable evidence that will help us conduct that safety investigation. Now, among other things, the NTSB will try to determine the bus's speed at the time of the crash. The attorney was not sure whether the bus is equipped with the so-called black box that would indicate that, but I'm told the crash will freeze the speedometer and that investigators will know. We'll have more on this at 6 o'clock. For now, Andy Sheehan, KDKA News.